If we go to firewall and then rules, we can see that on our WAN interface, we have one rule already that's blocking Bogan networks. If we go to LAN, we can see that we have an anti-lockout rule, which prevents ports uh, 443 and 80 from be accidentally being blocked and therefore locking myself out as an administrator. We can see below that there is a rule that says IPv4 from anywhere on our local network can access anything. So a client on this network would access the internet or any other location without being blocked or rejected. So let's set up a rule on our WAN. If we select IPv4 TCP from anywhere, a source of anywhere to a destination of, and we'll set the port type to be 80, log the packets and we'll say allow web traffic HTTP. Now click apply. And what we've said here is anything coming in on the WAN interface, the internet facing interface, that is IPv4 TCP from anywhere using with a destination, I should say, of port 80 is allowed. Let's say we also wanted to allow port 443 rather than recreating the rule, we'd just click on the copy icon. We change it from 80 to 443. We'll change my description and hit save. Again, we hit apply and we are done. Now let's have a look at these columns. The very first one in this case is a red cross and that means to block. Block also means drop, as in don't send an administrative packet back, just ignore it. The alternative is reject and reject does send an administrative packet back. So it's a very fast response. A green tick means it's a pass. This icon here with the three lines and the ticks means to log the traffic. If we hover over status, we can see some stats about the connection. We'd use this information to help us troubleshoot traffic flow issues. We can also use it to help us organize our rules so that more commonly hit rules are above less commonly hit rules. That's just more efficient. Then we have our source and our destination our gateway, our queue, and our schedule. Now we're not going into most of these, but the schedule might be useful for when you want to have rules applying only during the day, or perhaps only on weekends. Now we've got our description and some actions. Our actions allow us to delete, to disable temporarily, to copy, to edit, and to move. We can reorganize them, then we hit save and apply. Now let's have a look at some aliases. Aliases allow us to group together associated traffic so we can have them applied in one rule. I'll demonstrate. So we want to allow certain ports. So we'll select ports, click add, and we'll say allowed web ports. And we'll say port 80. HTTP traffic, we'll add another port, HTTPS, now we'll hit save. We'll hit apply. Now if we go back to our rules, we've got two rules here, but we can combine them into one. So we can delete them. We'll delete that one too. We'll add. Now we'll allow TCP from any to any but our custom port will be, and I just started typing AL and it found our alias. We'll log it and hit save. Hit apply again. Now if we hover our mouse over it, it says port 80 and 443 are allowed. Now you could imagine that that list of ports could get very long, or perhaps it wouldn't be a list of ports, but actually IP addresses that we want to allow or reject, we can do it all within one rule, as opposed to many for each individual port or each individual IP address. It's very efficient. That's it for firewalls. Thank you very much.